One of my favorite things to do is automating tasks within my business. The reason it gets me so excited is because when you automate a task, obviously it makes your time more valuable. It's basically doing jobs for free and it's gonna make you more money in the long run. The thing is most people don't realize how simple it is to automate within your business. They think you need to be some sort of coder or developer, but that's absolutely not the case. And I'm really excited to show you how to use a tool called Zapier today to start automating tasks within your own business and start making more money. Hey, how's it going? Ryan Kazel here from b2bleads.com. And today I'm excited because we get to, I get to show you one of my favorite tools um, called Zapier. Zapier is a really great platform. Um, it's an online platform, zapier.com, and it connects lots of different apps together and it's a really easy way for you to start automating things in business. So let's jump in, take a look, and we're gonna talk about a simple automation that you can set up um, a good example of using this is when you have an onboarding client, onboarding a new client, they fill in a short survey and it drives a bunch of automations to create a folder for them, create all the documents to them and send them an email. Let's get started. Alrighty, so in terms of getting started for any time we wanna automate a process, it's good to actually understand what the process flow is. So what we're gonna do is create a really simple process today. Um, so for example, when you onboard a new client, chances are you get them to fill in a survey, giving you all the information you need um, in order to conduct your work together. If you don't, highly recommend you do it. Once they fill in that survey, rather than doing a bunch of tasks, um, what you can do is automate a bunch of tasks that happen as driven by that action of filling out that survey. So what you might wanna do is create a folder in your, um, whether that's Office 365 or whether you use Google Workspace, we use Google, you wanna create a folder for that client. Then what we're gonna do is create a document in that folder, which uses information from the survey. And then what we're gonna do is email the client with some next steps. Pretty simple, but you can see how, if you know how to do this, you can then expand on it really easily. And a lot of people think this is very complicated, but it's absolutely not the case. And yeah, let's jump into it and I'll show you how to do it. So head to zapier.com. You can join using your own email address, um, link it up with your Google account. Um, I think you could do it with Office 365, I'm not sure. Either way, just sign up, create an account. Once you're in, you have your dashboard. And what we're gonna do is create a zap. I think you can get started for free. Um, either way, it's a very low cost platform. And for the most part, your time is worth more than what it costs to automate it. So, you know, it's kind of a no brainer if you can automate things that you're doing manually in your business. So the first thing you wanna do is create an automation. First thing you need to do is create a trigger. Well, we don't have a trigger yet. We need to create the survey that the client's gonna fill in. So I've created a folder, Zapier test within my um, um, Google workspace. And let's create a Google form. We'll call it test onboarding and we'll add in some questions, make it a short answer. How tall are you required add section? I just want to add another question. How old are you? Perfect. So let's just test this out. How tall are you? I don't know, about 73, I think. How old are you? 34. Think about that. Great. All right. We've tested out the form, it should work. Now if we refresh this, check out our responses. We can see it's been added in there. Alrighty, now, what do we wanna do with that? We wanna use that information. Actually, well, there's one thing I did forget. Um, let's create, jumping ahead a bit. Let's create a name so when we create the um, folder, it can be named after the actual client who's starting. Question, name, short answer. Make it the top one and then send okay. preview name Ryan test. How tall are you? 222 two, two centimeters. How old are you? 222 years old. Submit and we're away. Now what we want to do is create a folder based on the name that was entered into the form. So the trigger is going to be the form being filled out. Google form. Um, so you have a trigger and you can choose some options. The, the, the setup wizard that you use um, on, on um, Zapier, it's really quite intuitive. So you just work through the steps, basically. So event, new form response, 
continue, choose account. So you've got to link up your Google account with it. If, if you haven't already, it'll, it'll prompt you to do it there. Now what you want to do is link up the untitled form that I would should have given it a name, but just it should show the latest form there. Continue. And now we want to test that trigger out, make sure it's actually working and pulling in information. And then you can see the responses here. 34, you can find more responses. Now you can see the second response. Continue. That's the one we want to use for this because that's the one that has a name in it. Next thing we want to do is it's called find a folder. Oh, no, we need to say use Google Drive. And what we want to do in Google Drive is find a folder. The reason we want to find a folder is because if the folder already exists, we don't want to um, duplicate it. So continue. That's, that's why I wish I had this tutorial when I got started because it's not very intuitive, this part of it. Choose an account, choose the account, continue, folder name. And this is where we call it the actual name of the, see you got the responses from the thing. You show all the responses and you can choose the folder name to be the name from the actual response here. The drive we want to put it in is in my Google Drive. The parent folder is I've created a Zapier test folder, which is here. Should this step be considered a set? So there's nothing is found. No. And this is the important part. Create the folder if it doesn't exist. Then continue, test action, and it's created that folder. What we want to do now is basically create a list, create a document and put it into that folder automatically. So next thing we're going to do is create a document. Google Doc, I'm going to change that to new document, create a document, choose an account, the name of the document, let's call it onboarding information, document content, and you can put the, the questions here, how tall are you, and then you can pop in the information uh, here, show all options, how tall are you, put the answers in there, and the folder this is where it gets um, a little bit tricky. So the folder we want is the folder we created in step two. So you have to expand this and select the ID. So it's creating, it's not creating, um, get rid of that root, there we go. So it's not looking for an existing folder, it's looking for a folder that you created in a previous step of this zap. This is the tricky part, and this is where I wish I really had this tutorial when I was getting started. So then we click continue, test action, we open up that. Now you've got the onboarding questionnaire is created and you can see the answers from the survey in there. And if I had put in an email address on the survey, which you can easily do, add it as a question, then what you could also do is say, add another step, say email, I would use Gmail, and you could say, send Gmail to, and then you put the input in as the um, whatever came in from the form. Then it's just simply a matter of, well, I'll delete this step because I didn't put an email in, but it's simple enough to do. You can see this was definitely the most complicated part. And I want to show you how simple it, it, it actually is. Delete step. And then all you need to do is publish it. Publish and turn on. Zap is on. Now let's take it for a test drive. Name, John Tall Guy. How tall are you? 555 five, five, five centimeters. And he's 33 years old. Submit. It's not always instant. Sometimes it can take five minutes, depending on the, the the actual plan that you're on with Zapier. But for the most part, it is usually pretty quick. So we'll give it a moment. There it is. John Tall Guy created a folder, onboarding questions, answers to the survey. So hopefully this gets you excited and you can see the potential. Like it's just a matter of building on top of this and, and you can start to see the different things within your own business that you can automate. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just the only one who gets really excited by this sort of stuff, but I hope you got some value out of this video, get some ideas on ways you can automate things in your business and make your time more available, make more money and scale up faster. So as always, Ryan Caswell from b2bleads.com. Hope you got some value out of that and have a great day. Cheers.